Hi, John with Orange Blade Consultants. Today we're going to look at the ability to measure roof area and get accurate measurements when we're dealing with a, a roof that's actually going to be existing in a three-dimensional world, but all we have is two-dimensional plans. And we're going to rely on these slope factors. Uh, so w what we ha are showing here is uh, typical roof pitches, so 3 inches to 12 inches, 4 to 12, 5 to 12, and so on, and the factor that we use when measuring in a 2D environment. You'll see down here in my markup area that uh, I have roof slope, roof slope area, materials, and cost. And you'll see how that comes into play here in just a second. So let's do some measurements and um, see how our custom columns will give us our accurate measurements. So what I'm going to do is uh, measure area here. Um, I'll measure from here to here. Now the assumption here is that this drawing is calibrated, meaning uh, we have it set to be accurate. Um, so if you're not familiar with calibrating a PDF, you can look in the help menu. It'll show you step by step on how to do that. It's very easy. Anyways, um, I'm showing 122 square foot. Now that doesn't account for the uh, the slope. So we're only operating right now in a 2D environment, but that should be more. So the actual roof area should be more than that. So what I need to do is is pick the slope. I'll say that's going to be 412, 4 inches to 12 inches. Oh, okay, so it shows that it's uh, 128.71 square feet. So let's take it a step further. Uh, let's indicate a material. So I have two materials set up. One is tile and one is asphalt shingles. So if I say asphalt shingles, I see that my cost shows up here. Okay, so where do all these numbers come from? They come from custom columns that I've created. So if I go into Manage Columns, Custom Columns, you'll see the four columns that I've created right here and right here. So roof slope is a choice, meaning we're going to pick our roof slope and apply the multiplier. So these multipliers show up right here. Okay. Then uh, we have our subtotal, which does some math for us. It'll take the roof slope times the area to give us our amount right here. Okay, and then we have materials. So although I only have two set up and I have some phony numbers set up as far as tile, we're saying is $12.50 per square foot and asphalt is $7.98 per square foot. As prices change, we can always bump those up, bump those down, and even add a third, fourth, fifth material so that we're not only using tile or asphalt. So we can get uh, a, a lot more detail there if we wanted to. Uh, and then we have our cost, which is our final cost, and it does some math for us as well. So it gives us our roof slope area, which is right here, times our material cost, right here, uh, and then gives us our total cost right here. So that's where all the math comes from. Okay, So I can do another measurement. So if I go to area, here, here, here. And I know this doesn't make sense, but we'll say that this particular roof is uh, actually a different slope. So if I say that that is going to be 312, you'll see that the uh, area shows up a little smaller. And I'll say that that's going to be tile, uh, and it incorporates the price for tile right here. So thanks for watching.